All right, well, hopefully today is North Dome Yosemite. This is new for me, haven't been here yet. Uh, July has been a rough month. About a week after my clouds rest hike, my family kind of started sharing this chest cold around. So I haven't been hiking for about three weeks. I'm gonna try to go pretty light today. I packed minimal stuff. I did give myself some extra treats. And I'm also doing something I've never done before, which is hiking with an umbrella. So see you on trail. So this is the first part of the hike down to North Dome. I say down because right now I'm walking downhill. I'm not sure how much longer this lasts. It's like in the high 60s right now, it's supposed to get into the 90s, but it's gonna be warm. Starting to get a bit of altitude, a bit more exposure. Still beautiful. I think I'm somewhere around hmm, 2.5 miles. I stopped a bit at that big rock back there, had to. Nice little view, a couple bites of granola bar, some water, climb up this hill and I'm cruising forward. Beautiful. I should be coming up on mile three. A bit more uphill in this section, but it's still shady. So it's been beautiful. Starting to see through the trees and getting some good views. Definitely getting up there. Okay, that was a bit of a climb right there. Sunny. All right, decision time. Fork in the road, Indian Rock, point three. It's gonna add half a mile to the hike. Kind of hard to say no to that though. Steep. Probably the hardest third of a mile I've ever done, <laughs> but uh, well worth it. Check it out.
And that is Cloud's Rest. Where is this trail going? <laughs> Unreal. A lot of people come to this kind of false dome and stop. I can see why. I mean, the view is just ridiculously good. I think the farthest I've gone without stopping and taking a picture is about 17 steps since I got on top of this thing. To hike to North Dome, you go down there. Incline to get here, which of course you gotta climb up on the way out. And honestly, the view from right here isn't a whole lot different than from the top of that incline. And this is a great trail. There's just all these cool pine trees just growing right out of the rock. Giant piece of granite sticking out into Yosemite Valley. Pretty awesome. in here chilling under this tree looking at clouds rest looking at the valley looking at half dome and north dome is way over there got some people coming down the trail there there's some people coming up the trail so basically there's this big valley between here and north dome I would feel stupid for stopping this close to North Dome. Um, not that there could be much more to see, I don't think, but who knows, it's Yosemite, so there's probably like 37 waterfalls right over the side of that hill. Better put the camera away for this one. Just check the GPS again. And uh, now it says I've gone seven miles in three hours. So I'm not really entirely sure how that could be the case. Um, and here I am walking down that thing. I just said I should put the camera away on. If the uh, video suddenly goes out, it's because I fell on my butt and smashed my camera. Okay, I'm gonna run. Whoa! All right, still very manly. Came from up there, and uh, got to be nearing the top because there's nowhere else to climb. 
see what we got here. I must say I am very pleased with the decision to take the Yosemite Falls Trail out. Instead of having to climb up that, I've just been cruising down switchbacks. According to the map, in about, math is hard, 1.3 miles, I should come to a creek and then I can take a right and basically rejoin the trail I took to get out here. The creek is very important at this point because as you can see, I am out of water. Now don't panic. There's been water in every single creek that I've seen on the way down here. So far the map has not steered me wrong one bit. Um, so I am confident that there's gonna be water coming up in the next 20 to 30 minutes. Hopefully that's not the creek. Uh, don't worry, mom, I will be all right. But if I'm not, you'll know why. Knock Vecto. Essentially, I'm just going to fill it up with water. Boom. There's my dirty bag. I'm going to put the Sawyer squeeze on here. Now, if I was really desperate, I could just drink right out of the Sawyer Squeeze. Instead, I'm gonna fill this bottle up. All right. I haven't filmed anything for a while because nothing's really changed for a while. I mean, this is just really pretty forest. I like that bright moss on the trees in contrast to the bark. This looks cool. Not too thrilled about all this downhill. I've been walking downhill for like a half hour. Eventually I need to climb uphill and get back to the road. I mean, it's kind of nice to coast a little bit, but you gotta pay for it.
snow, 1.8, no thank you. Here we go, Tioga Road, 3.1. All right, here we go. Interesting part of the hike, there's a fire through here at some point. I don't know if it's being sick for the last few weeks, lack of exercise for the last few weeks, altitude, heat, whatever. But uh, yeah, this is sapping my strength. I mean, I'm not even really sore or muscle tired. I just literally want to go to sleep. I should have brought my hammock. If the topo map is correct, and so far it's been pretty much dead on, I should have some fairly gentle climbing to do for a while, and then some really nasty uphill to rejoin the original trail, and then uh, back out about a mile and a half or so. So it really shouldn't be that big of a deal. I am back on the uh, relatively flat trail. I'm about a buck 30 from Tioga Road. So should be out of here in 30 minutes or so. I gotta tell you, that hill back there pretty much sucked. It seems likely that something probably lives in there. And I do not want to find out. Whoa. That looks like a pig or a bison or something. Somehow, it drew a line from where I was to the bottom of the valley and back, which of course it thought I did in seconds. So my stats on this recording are hilarious. Um, yeah, I didn't do 18,000 feet and 15, 16 miles uh, in the course of eight hours. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not quite there yet. All right, so post-trail analysis. Number one, the Yosemite Creek return loop, not worth it. Definitely Indian Rock. Yeah, that place, absolutely legit. I don't know that I can really recommend hiking all the way to North Dome. The extra half hour, hour that you spend down climbing, up climbing, down climbing, up climbing from North Dome, uh, all it really does is, is get you a little tiny bit closer to the amazing scenery. You're lower than you were up on the ridge. So you're doing all that climbing to end up in a lower position where you don't see as much. Anyway, so that's it for me. Um, I loved the hike all the way up really until I made the mistake of taking the Yosemite Falls trail back. North Dome in the bag. <laughs>